Hey guys, it's Rhea here at allofourhomes.com and today I want to share with you my love-hate relationship with clawfoot tubs. Plus, I'll share five tips for anyone who has a clawfoot tub. Here at All of Our Homes, we post videos every Tuesday about our old Victorian farmhouse, our sustainable renovation, and Scandinavian living. If that's something that would interest you, please hit the subscribe button. And also, give us a like for this video. When this house was built, it was probably before there was indoor plumbing. And they may have had some sort of tub in a bathroom somewhere that they would fill with water, that they would bring from a well or something outside, and that's how they would bathe. And all of that being said, it makes me really appreciate the fact that I have a clawfoot tub. However, there are a few things about clawfoot tubs that you should know about before you decide to get one. So from one neighbor to another, let's jump into it. So let's start with what I love about clawfoot tubs. First of all, they are usually made out of cast iron. I've actually never seen a clawfoot tub made out of anything else. And the cast iron just feels better to the touch much better than an acrylic tub and it is more durable and even though they are heavier they just hold up a lot better over time and the second thing is that clawfoot tubs because they're cast iron they usually hold in heat better it takes a bit longer for them to heat up but once they are they will hold the heat in your bath for a longer amount of time and the third thing that I love about clawfoot tubs is that they're pretty. They sit on these delicate little feet and it just looks so nice in a bathroom with the sunlight coming in on it. And they really do fit well within the time period of older homes. So if you have a historic house, a clawfoot tub is a great addition that is period appropriate for your house. Now on to the things that I hate about clawfoot tubs, and I don't use that word lightly. You have to climb into a clawfoot tub, and because they are sitting on these feet, they can sometimes rock back and forth, which is an issue we've had with our clawfoot tub. And the second part of it when you climb in is that you have nothing to hold on to. You're surrounded by curtains in a clawfoot tub. Usually they're set back from the wall, so there is really nothing to grab onto to keep your balance as you climb in and out of this tub that is sitting up even higher because it's on feet. And the third thing is that with clawfoot tubs, they are usually curved around the edges, and so there's no place for storage. So if you have little kids that want to play in the bath, you've got to come up with another solution for them to put their toys somewhere. The fourth thing I hate about clawfoot tubs is that you have to clean underneath them. And the fifth thing is that it takes time to heat up a clawfoot tub, which because it's cast iron, it actually will hold the heat longer. But initially when you want to heat up the tub, you're going to have to add in extra hot water to get it going and get it warmed up. And now it's time for our five tips if you own a clawfoot tub. The first thing that you will want, especially if you have a clawfoot tub with a shower component, is a DIY basket. We put this basket together using some pipe straps or clamps that you can find in the plumbing section of Home Depot. And then we had these wire clamps, I believe, or cable clamps. We also used this um, mastic uh, filler in the back, but that didn't work out, so I would not recommend that. And then we have this basket that we got from a bath store, and we just repurposed it with the clamps in the back. And it works perfectly to hold all the necessary items. Whatever extra items we have, there are shelves right behind the bathtub that work great. So definitely have some shelves close to your clawfoot tub so that you can store all the extra items you might need. And then the third tip is to have two curtains. Now some people might have four or they might have three or they might have one. 
You definitely need two curtains to wrap all the way around your clawfoot tub if you are using it as a shower. And it's great to have two that open on either side for hooks or for shelves. And the fourth thing is to have non-slip stickers. Now in a clawfoot tub, using a bath mat might be tricky because they can be all sorts of strange shapes. And it doesn't seem like they're bath mats made for clawfoot tubs. So we just use these non-slip circle stickers that don't take up much space and work great. And the fifth tip is to have hooks. Now hooks are a great storage solution if you are short on space, but you also, because you have nothing to hold on to near your clawfoot tub, it's just good to have hooks for your towels so that you have easy access to the things that you need. this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by our home.